Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Welcome to episode six of Action Figure Window Shopping. It's a little series of videos that I do every week where I take a look at some interesting toys and collectibles that got my attention over the past week, then I come back and share it with you. So this is the week of Christmas. So if I don't get another chance to say it, I'm gonna say it now. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I hope you have a great day. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. And if you don't celebrate any holiday, I hope you have a good day slash week slash life regardless. All right. So this week, the majority of these figures are ones that you're going to be that you're going to be able to find pretty much everywhere. Mass market retail. But let's take a look at them, starting with our good friends at McFarland Toys. So if you remember a few weeks ago, there was this leak at this uh, Philippines website about some DC multiverse figures that were coming out supposedly in 2022. I went over those in a video. I'll leave a link or card so that you can take a look at it. But some of those figures have started to get confirmed. And here's one of them. So this is General Zod. This is one that's coming soon. We don't know exactly when, but hey, it's 2022 is right around the corner. And as you can see, he's looking pretty awesome. We got ourselves some facial hair there, some pretty cool looking armor, details on the armor, very quintessential McFarlane toys looking figure this one is. So he looks pretty cool. So if you want a, a general Zod figure, your chance is coming up soon. Another one that they confirmed is the Solar Suit Superman. So when I looked at this in uh, the video that I did, I thought that it was going to be one of two figures. One, this guy who was sort of incidentally given the powers of Superman. He was like a convict. But since the description mentioned the black suit, I said, OK, this is probably the one that we're going to get instead. Just regular Superman with his solar suit, regeneration suit, whatever, the black one. And that's exactly what we got here. Now, unfortunately, maybe a bit of a missed opportunity for McFarlane Toys, this Superman does not have long hair and I think that a lot of us would have loved it if Superman was rocking the long hair some people call it a mullet I don't think it's a mullet but it's just long hair um, so we don't get that we get the short hair Superman but he's got the beard going you know so that's something that's different but you know how McFarlane Toys does things we may get another version of this in the future with another head with long hair who knows? But this is your comic book inspired black suit Superman. And um, I hope that one day maybe they can come out with the uh, Superman with the electric blue, the electric blue Superman. I would like to see that. Seems like something that'll be right up their alley. Another figure that was confirmed. Martian Manhunter. Take a look at that forehead and those brows. He looks pretty good. You know, I feel like if someone wanted to kind of redo this and repaint the body, it could probably make for a pretty decent Drax the Destroyer. Got a very similar build going on there. But yeah, Martian Manhunter going on there. And then last but certainly not least, we have a confirmation of Aquaman from the Endless Winter. Now, a couple of things about this. Endless Winter is a Build-A-Figure line. At least according to that website, had a few different figures included in that line. Aquaman was one of them. I think another one may have been like a Wonder Woman, uh, Black Adam, and some other ones. They haven't said what the build a figure is going to be for this. I pr I predict that is going to be the frost king but we'll see and uh, we'll get some more information about that soon but this is a really really good looking aquaman uh he looks like chris hemsworth so you know if thor were aquaman he will look like this and i like how on his pants see if can we zoom in you see like those little water droplets? I don't know if this was just something that they did for the photography. It probably is, but it would be cool if it was sort of scoped it in there, those little beads of water, just to give a little bit more oomph to it. That would be awesome. But one thing that some people are uh, complaining about, not just with this figure, but some other McFarlane Toys figures as well, is the eyes. The eyes and the fact that he's sort of looking up in a way off to the side, his eyes aren't centered and that kind of limits some of the articulation that you can do because his eyes won't necessarily be doing the same thing that his body is doing. So it kind of throws everything off. So people have been saying with this and like the Gotham Knights line, uh, please stop giving these characters the side eye. 
you know, let them look straight on so that the poses will look more real. You know, um, this is really more of something that I think will be great with a statue static pose. You don't move them. It looks fine. But when you got action figures, if you want to make his body like present like he's doing something on the other side, but his eyes are looking in the other direction, just gets a little bit weird. But it is a very nice figure nonetheless. So those are the confirmed figures so far from the uh, upcoming multiple lines of DC multiverse stuff. And here's something that was confirmed a bit earlier. So this is from Dark Knight's Death Metal. This is a big, giant, bat beast vehicle coming out next month. Now, this is the Big Bat Toy Store tax, $89.99. You can also find this on other sites, such as Amazon, selling it for $10 cheaper, $79.99. But this is the biggest vehicle that they have done. And yeah, this is a monster truck Batmobile. And what's even more interesting about it is the story of like an evil bad man in the dark multiverse that uploaded his conscience into basically all computers and electronics. Society rose up against him and erased his conscience from everything but this vehicle, this Batmobile. So this is basically Batman's evil mind inside of a vehicle, a possessed vehicle, basically. And this thing is absolutely massive. Check out the length, 17 inches long. It is 11.25 inches high, almost a foot high for a vehicle. That's crazy. And it can fit the seven inch figures. I don't know how many it can fit in there, but it can fit them. And that's just really kind of cool. Now the vehicle itself, I'm not really blown away by you know it looks fairly generic to me like a regular toy monster truck or whatever but it's just the concept of it and the fact that they're coming out with it i mean this is as obscure as it get the batmo beast who has ever heard of something like this but it's cool that they're coming out with this it's very pricey though so i think this is something for only the most dedicated of collectors and yeah, it is a massive vehicle and it rolls. No electronics, uh, no remote control, just big, big old plastic. Zooming around the house with two hands kind of thing. Now the last McFarlane Toys type of figure that I'm gonna show in this video is from the Mirrorverse line. Now, it's odd because Mirrorverse is a game that you can't even play right now in the United States. I think it's available in other countries. And I'm not too into this line with the exception of a couple figures in this Genie being one of them. The other one being Buzz Lightyear. So uh, Genie is from my favorite Disney movie, Aladdin. But of course, this is not the genie from Atlanta. He doesn't look like it, but we all know who he is. So he's all decked out in his armor and stuff. And it's pretty cool because he comes with this comes with this base of swirling magic right here. And he's the genie with the um, with the tail, not with the feet. And I don't think it comes with any feet that you can put on him. No. So he's just going to be the tail genie. Uh, but I think he's still free. Right. Is he free? I'm not sure if those are just bracelets or if those are the shackles that keep him bind to the lamp. I'm getting too heavy into the lore. But in the game, he is a tank, as you can see with the card, and it's part of the regular seven inch scale line. A lot of other figures in this particular line, if you're interested in them, you know, Jack Sparrow, we got a Mickey, we have a uh, Pluto, well not Pluto, we have a Goofy, and some other ones as well. A couple of different Sullies, uh, a Bell. So if you're just kind of into that whole thing, you know, that'll be cool for you. But it's just this guy and uh, Buzz Lightyear that I'm interested in at the time. Moving it over to Hasbro Marvel Legends. This is the 20th anniversary series Hulk and he looks absolutely incredible. This is a great old school looking Hulk with a great head sculpt. Uh, you can kind of sort of see it here, but we can get an even closer look at the face there. Uh, really good base there with the effects, little gamma effects coming up here. And we can zoom in a little bit on the face as good as we can without it getting too crazy. But this is just a really nice face sculpt for the Hulk here. And also I like the paint. That they uh that they apply to him it's not just one plain color i love it when they mix things up so we got a little bit of some uh, some lighter greens here with a little bit of a darker green give it a little bit more variation make it a little bit more awesome to look at especially in the right light but yeah this is just straight up old school hope look at that haircut 
really nice and oh yeah that's a good look at that face there really good look at that face big wide mouth got a little bit of little sideburns going on this is a great hulk and if you are into packaging i know a lot of people are oh two different head scopes as well i didn't notice that before so hulk angry and hulk you know kind of docile as docile as the hulk can be here's the packaging so old school card and i think that's really cool especially with a big figure like this that he can still be on the card we kind of get like some old school graphics and and fonts going on here so this looks really nice i like this figure here's everything that he comes with a couple of interchangeable fists a couple of hands we got that base there i'm not sure what that gold thing is let's see what they tell us here um damage mandroid head okay cool so we got a mandroid head uh bbts is charging 43.99 for this you can probably get it cheaper somewhere else uh would not expect it to be the regular 22.99 price of a regular marvel legends figure um that's to be expected but this is a really nice looking hulk comes out in may of 2022 so we got a little bit of ways to go with that uh, speaking of Marvel stuff that we have a little bit of ways left to go before we can experience it is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but this is the Build-A-Figure wave for that, which is scheduled to come out in May uh, or in April of 2022, just in time for my birthday. So this is the Rintra Build-A-Figure wave. And uh, here's Doctor Strange. We're getting quite a few Doctor Stranges these days, uh, but they always do a really good job at uh, doing the face sculpt for Benedict Cumberbatch. Looks really good. And I always like the Doctor Strange magic hands effects. I think that these look great. Here is his hands. We're always doing cool stuff with his hands. And then some of the other figures in this line include the return of Master Mordo. All right. Too many sorcerers. Not if he can help it. So he's rocking some dreads this time around. So he's, you know, been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of, a lot of seething and a lot of plotting, I'm sure. So we're going to get him in this line along with uh, America Chavez. There she is right there. And we're also going to get our really good friend uh, Wong, who we can see in a variety of different Marvel movies. Wong is really cool. And then we are also going to get a Doctor Strange in astral form. Please ap I apologize for my phone. Doctor Strange in astral form. So we got a translucent figure here. He's somewhat pale. So this is a nice variant. I do like this. Here's a look at that packaging. Kind of like this ice blue sub-zero type blue going on here. And then we also get, I can't pronounce this, Despere? Despere? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But there he is. We get this guy. And then finally, we get Sleepwalker. Kind of got like a uh, Green Goblin thing going on here. But yeah, Rintra is going to be the builder figure. He basically looks like a, a, a mythical ram type of uh, creature. So yeah, there's going to be one of the newest waves of Marvel Legends coming out uh, for next year. Now, in the other video, we did some Robocop stuff. Um, but NECA just announced that they are releasing uh, ED-209 from Robocop. It's going to be a 10-inch figure, and it also has sounds. Look at that price, though. $94.99. Like I said, Big Bad Toy Store, kind of a tax going on there. But the, um, the figure everywhere else is still going to be kind of up there in price, but maybe not quite as this high. Um, but yeah, this is a big figure. Like I said, it's 10 inches, and then it also has... Uh, batteries that it includes batteries thank goodness they're going to be cell batteries and it has lights accurate well it has dialogue uh, sound effects uh, for it and uh, yeah it's also articulated let's take a look at some pictures of ED-209 to go along with the upcoming uh, re-release of Robocop and the battle damaged Robocop battle damage will probably probably be a good uh, way to go with this one Good stuff. So if you're a big RoboCop fan or, you know, you want to get in on it, here's your chance. You get yourself a choice of one of two RoboCops if you don't want to get both. And then you can get a giant ED-209. That is awesome. Uh, so now one of the last things that I want to show is from 
Mythic Legions. So I mentioned this line, I think it was a few videos back from this, maybe it was the first one, and about how I like this line because these are figures that, um, like the world was kind of built with the figures and you know, not a part of any major brand, you know, Hasbro, Mattel, anything like that. You know, it's from Four Horsemen and they created this line born of Kickstarter and then it just got more and more successful as time goes on. They released multiple waves and this is part of the All-Stars wave, which is made up of some re-releases that they did and some fan chosen releases and uh, a different version of what I believe right here, the Forest Troll. So it says uh, Force Troll 2. So this is a different version of the Force Troll that came out uh, previously. And I really like the way that these figures look. It's just so different. It's just a, it's a whole new world of different things that, you know, I haven't experienced before, but I really would like to start getting into these figures. They're kind of pricey, though, as you can see, $49.99. But some of the cooler ones, I, I like like gladiator types with lots of armor and stuff like this. So check this one out vitus from army of leo dices figure loving that armor and then another one in this line that's decked out in armor sir owain look at that love the look of that always left like the sort of silver and gold it's just so darn noble really cool looking shield very nice figures, very nice figures. Um, so the six inch scale, so not small and not the, certainly not the largest, but you know, I like, I like everything that I see about the myth, the mythic uh, legions. And then they also have that other line coming out. That's more space oriented. I kind of forgot the name of that one, uh, but those figures also look very good. So, you know, keep your eyes on these. And the great thing about it is they're all in stock. Usually with these figures on Bay Bat Toy Store, they're for pre-order or they're just not available anymore, but these are in stock. So it might be pretty good to maybe just get one, you know, dip your toe in the water, see what you're in for. So the last thing that I want to show before I close out all these videos is I look for something that is really quite expensive that I cannot possibly afford. And I think, wouldn't it be cool if I could have that? And this is that thing from... Sideshow Collectibles, this is a life-size Boba Fett figure. So we got the Book of Boba Fett coming out not too long from now on Disney+. Plus. So Boba Fett is back in effect. Not now, honey. But this is a limited edition. You can get it right now, $8,995. And, yo, know, honey is really starting to bug me. So snooze for 24 hours, honey. But, yeah. 9,000 bucks if you want this life-size Boba Fett figure. How big is he? Well, he is 78.5 inches tall, which is about six foot five. So he is pretty freaking tall, you know, taller than the average person. Weighs 110 pounds, so not terribly heavy. Definitely still get, you know, a couple folks to move it. But yeah, this life-size Boba Fett. I mean, why, why wouldn't you want something like this? Let me see. So there he is. Get this thing up in your living room. I mean, you will be the coolest person in the in the neighborhood. But if you have a nine thousand dollar life size figure, you probably are the neighborhood. You know, you live in a house that's so big and isolated away from people. So you don't have to worry about neighbors. But he has articulated head. Um, his head is articulated. And then he also has an adjustable range finder. That's cool. Take a look at that armor. Jetpack, of course. Great, great looking figure. It does not come with um, with Han Solo um, in the Carbonite there, but you can also get that. You can also get him uh, in that life size form. But yeah, really awesome looking figure. And yep, there's the Han Solo and Carbonite. If you're so interested in that, well, this guy is 91 inches tall, so even bigger, even bigger. All right, so honey is starting to get on my nerves now. But anyway, that's all the figures that I wanted to show you guys today. Um, almost, wow, look at that, only a few left. 
good for them. So yeah, like I said, Christmas is coming up. So Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy Saturday, happy week to everyone out there. And uh, I'll be back next week with some interesting, cool collectibles and figures that I find this week. So until then, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jeremy and I'll talk to you later.